Hello today guys, Captain Grizz, and I'm back once again with U-Boat. It has taken a few months off from playing this, kind of letting some of the updates come through. On the last playthrough I went ahead and basically let it go through most of the war as far as I could. Had like all the upgrades, full out crew and everything. But what I really like is with the B-28 is they've added a lot of cool features. And one is they actually added a tutorial which, you know, is okay. So explain some of the stuff, explain how to get out of the harbor, things like that. So it was, that was pretty good. But uh, one thing I like is you could change the difficulty and I'm going to run that all the way up. And I've played a few games where I've gone out and dealt with convoys on the highest difficulty setting. And I really like it because they are literally all over you like they were in the war. So, you know, approaching a convoy, I was lucky enough to have other U-boats distract some of the uh, destroyers and I was able to get close and sink a few ships but I'll see if I can duplicate that again but we're starting this war over again again like leaving German realistic got them all the way up to hard bilge uh, I don't I don't like doing darker nights because it's it makes it darker but it's for people viewing my stuff on YouTube I, I don't like it vision damage hardcore aiming I always do all the manual targeting classic style Economy. So basically, what I like is in this one, it's going to be uh, as the war progresses, it's going to be harder to get materials and stuff. So I really enjoy that they they put that in here. So and got it all the way up. Got a realism level. I'm almost there. If I put it probably at first person, which I'm not going to do, brings it up a little bit because I like being able to look outside the sub and everything. Okay, so press on. I've already done the tutorial. Hopefully, I don't have to do it again. You have different body shapes. Muscular captain. Got boys one shirts. Can't be a, a pirate ship without your eye patch. Oh, and a pipe. <laughs> it's like the. All didn't matter. Beard. Yeah, it's good. Still gray because I'm all gray, so might as well just be gray myself here. That's a skate. Different faces. All right. Captain Grizz. Except. All right. Some of the things I, I really like where they're heading with this game because what's awesome is that the they're still they're trying to slowly add all the different realism elements to it, which is really nice, like the wolf packs and everything. So they've come a long way with it. There's still some bugs, and I think I encountered one in the tutorial where, and this has been a bug that's happened even since like earlier updates 119, where uh, it goes into some kind of slow motion pause mode. And there's like no way of getting out of it. I don't know. Somebody can leave a comment, but to get out of that, that'd be great. So, uh, yeah, we'll try and uh, work on that. But anyway, I think the tutorial's done. I'm not going to do the tutorial in this video. I'm just going to go straight to sailing and everything. And uh, everyone who wants to pick it up and play it, you can just go through the tutorial. And I'll show you mostly how to get out of the harbor and get things started. Um, one thing I really hope they add to this game is Q ships. And I don't think in any World War II submarine game, especially any of the DOS boots or anything, do you encounter that? Maybe you encounter it in a, maybe you encounter it in a Silent Hunter Five. I don't, I don't think so. You have a nice intro. It gives you a date and everything. Goes the boat. laughing birdfish so but anyway I'd really like them to add Q ships to this okay and, and, and for people who don't know what a Q ship is okay basically nothing okay so a Q ship is like a normal looking like freighter okay and what they used to do is put like military sailors on it and everything and it was a, a decoy ship almost it was like it what it did is they often sailed alone or they made themselves a luring target for a u-boat 
Okay, so the U-boats used to always surface and use a deck gun to sink the ships. So what they'd do is they'd come up, get out, get on their deck gun, you know, either or try and board the vessel to get stuff off of it, you know, food, things like that. Well, the Q-ships had these, these uh, hidden gun emplacements on board, and they'd just simply drop the planks, drop the panels, and this gun would open fire on the U-boat near, you know, you're talking less than 100 yards, 200 yards, and, and more often than not, the Q-ship would sink the U-boat. So they were used during both World War One and World War Two. It would be very nice to see those types of ships make it into this game because those small freighters out there you usually don't want to waste a torpedo on. You're, you're, is the ship that uh, is the ship that you need to uh, usually surface to try and sink? And I'd love to see some panels come down and just start opening fire on you. That would be great. Come on, I need a, another mechanic or whatever. This gives me renown, so we'll take that one. That one gives me 66. That one gives me a mechanic. I have a war correspondent. Might take that one. Thousand? Okay, ain't too bad. Foggy weather. It gives me a lot of renown. The war correspondent, that's. Same old, same old style. You gotta go ahead and ship all together. Credits here. Wish we cancel. Let me see what's in. Let me see what's in our alley. So I gotta be. I gotta. Got a mod that's activated. Um, I forgot the guy who made it, but it was really neat as he he made it where it's more smoky in the interior. I think that's really neat. Adds to the realism. You can definitely subscribe to it on Steam. Well, how many months of food do I? Have? Okay, so I got about 13 days worth of food. So yeah, I need more. Food. All of it. I'm gonna far out. Potatoes. Buy these? Oh. Yep, starting out's always painful. All up. Ooh, I'm not gonna worry about air. Need deck gun runs. Parts, medical. Those in the potassium pads in later. Okay. Yeah, you, starting out, you don't get very much. It's only gonna dwindle as the war goes on. Allow us to talk to him. More correspondents join the crew. Trying to purchase the help. We'll be fine. Welcome aboard. Food. I'll just add more food. I don't think I can get any more torpedoes. Let me go ahead and stock up here and give it a couple days. Okay. I'm looking forward to playing this again. It's been a lot of this game was an awesome, pretty awesome game, and just hoping that this. It's, you know, I'm playing the 128 unstable, so I hope it uh, doesn't get too crazy. There we go. Completely out. Chin goes. Free extra, nothing in the back. Alright. It is what it is. Now we just go to map. 
Now let's see, like here's the map and it shows you how the war is progressing. Okay, blue being allied right now, our territory that we hold. Here, you can see. Alexandria. So this is pretty cool and it shows you the blitz is going on. Right up with that, there's a patrol area. I'm going to try and aim for this area. I want to get this waypoint. Head into the hole. What's nice is when you plot the course now, it actually does it. Gotta wait for the boat off duty. Okay. That's the course. All that standard. Go. And of course, they've worked on the graphics as you can see the reflection of the lights now going across the boat. They definitely did it, gave it a good graphical upgrade. Looks amazing. I can speed it up. Yeah, I know they've worked on the water. Done a lot of work on it. It's looking, looking absolutely fantastic. Okay, again, as usual, assign some crew to the engine guy so he can cut down on the fuel cost. Battery's charging. Good. Going. Well, they've made it, and as you'll see here, when I get to the area where I start to patrol, it is, these destroyers there, <laughs> they're on you. They don't give you much of a window to, uh, following out. They don't give you much of a window to, uh, attack these ships. They're all over you. Oh, talk to the reporter. What does he want? Have you, I need to set up shifts. Uh, seems confused about something. Suddenly he reaches out and asks Klaus, you know, where is the second periscope of the control room? Okay, so he's asking about the observation periscope. Okay, so let's go up here to menu. Let's go to crew management. Like right now, oh, I think they normally work 12 hour shifts, and that's kind of what I put them on. Over the other 12 hour shift. New mechanics. I'll share. One's a torpedo man. Probably should leave him alone. Yeah, you know what? I'll just leave. Use him as needed. Got a little bit of coffee. Usually I can use coffee to overcompensate, but you got tasks. You can assign the priority is for their task. Sailors. No, it's it's all as in depth as you want to get. I like what I do like that they've added is you can click on things, like turn on the pump. And here, let, let, let me unselect this guy. You could turn this guy the pump on or whatever, but you can have actual crew do it now. Dry. Alright, answer this question, let's get moving. Now you can increase the time compression and it only gets more as you get out further out. Oh, another question. He's navigating, but he's busy. We'll walk away from that for two seconds. Wants to tell public a bit how well engineered wheel boats were. He doesn't want to confuse such matters through incredible Klaus Hagno. He would explain exactly how the boats dive to match all the basic specs or no. Five ballast tanks were flooded. Yep. Yep. 
the several tanks. On our way, I'm kind of excited. I want to be able to attack some ships here again. It's, it's interesting playing on this new... And I'm probably going to run into something right here. I bet you I could dive and I'll find something right up here, but I just want to get in the patrol area right now. Not like I'm fully stacked out on torpedo. Alright, we're getting into the area and we're going to do our traditional. Now that we're here, time to dive the boat. We've reached reporting that we made the control area. Okay, get a little extra points. Click on this icon here in the periscope. Alarm. Dive the boat. Operating the valves. Side. Go. Over here. Alright, so what we're doing now is we're going underwater. And this they actually cover this in the tutorial, which is pretty awesome. Stop the boat. Let's get the radio man switched over to the hydrophone station. Give him an extra crewman to help him out. Okay. Just to give you show you what the boat looks like inside. Captain. All the smoke, all the diesels, it's, it's awesome. Radio man who's working that. Guys warming up torpedoes. Forward torpedo room. Officer bunks. Room. Captain's up here on the attack periscope. If we go up there, you'd see him on the attack periscope. Conning tower. Taylor quarters. Galley. Engines are off because we are underwater. Ferries. Aft torpedo room. It's kind of neat looking at the interior of the ship. Kind of what they've updated. Turn that off if you're going to be attacking a convoy because that makes sound. Okay, so right now you should see the bubble. There you go, the hydrophone bubble. And usually, depending on how fatigued he is, can affect that. If you can give him coffee, you can often expand it if you need to. But he's pretty well rested. Okay, we got propellers. That's probably a sub. Or, as you can see, the detection range is pretty far. Uh, this is probably a ship, because it's a straight line. So you could say interception course. Go ahead and surface the boat. Gotta ask a question that guy. All right. That guy. Okay, what is these compressed air to store to ship? The most important use is just to blow the ballast from the ballast tanks. It helps replenish breathable air. Surfacing. Going flank speed. We're going to go engage this target. Because he's not subs often move up and down erratically in some kind of search pattern. This person's moving more straight. Not so. Oh. Knock some of the rust off here. Go ahead and have you. 
with it. Do the air, compressed air. Diesel compressor. Bring the diesel compressor on because we're surfaced. You can use it underwater, but it consumes oxygen. So I use that in like an emergency when basically if I'm sinking, taking water, I'll turn both the uh, diesel and the battery uh, pumps on. Not exactly pumps, but they're air compressors. Turn these both on to help just build as much pressure as possible to get you to surface the boat. And that's like mainly in an emergency. Okay. Close in on the sky. Be anywhere within a 16 kilometer radius. Okay. Lose your target, just go ahead and listen again, but we should be able to get a sight on them. More people on the bridge with the captain. Day out. Okay. Eight, so it's in the morning. All right. Yep, chimney smoke. There you go. It is a ship. That's out there as a sub, the way it's moving. So you can tell just by targets the way they move, what they are. Visual of this. Okay, so we should have partly. Oh, it's a neutral ship. Neutral? Look at those vehicles it's carrying on there. Uh-uh. Nope. Not neutral. Okay. to periscope depth before it sees us. Daytime. It's daytime, so... Oh gosh. What do you want now? I heard chats a bit. Captain Grizz and mentioned the last meal was very tasty. Near the toilet. Okay. We're diving, getting in position. Those torpedoes better be good. I always show up to the scene. I always show up to the scene with my torpedoes not warmed up. It's great. Just remember to check your torpedoes while you're getting in position and start getting them warmed up. So, uh, ready when you when you're ready to make the attack. Keep going at flank speed. Position. That one kilometer away. Mission. Stop. I'd like to do one, two, one kilometer is probably the best. Warming up all the torpedoes. Now we can start getting our data. Target is. Right, for the scope. You zoom, you can do it like right click. Okay, but I like to put my eye up on the scope. See better here. Okay. Yep. We have it locked. You need to recognize it. Like a bell. See, even with flags. Sweden. That looks like it, an Empire Tower. Here you can see its speed, range, mast height, draft. 
nothing crazy, but it's, you know, I only need to do 10,000 tons to meet half of it. Rangefinder. E or Q. Okay. Bring this to the bottom of the ship to the top of the mast. All right, set. Let's set ship out at about four kilometers right now. I'm gonna, you could take the speed right now, but the thing is that ship's at a pretty bad angle. You don't want to do speed, but I wonder if I could try and sound it. We got time, so let's go to the manual mode. Ship. Him. You can hear it. It's out this way. One, two, three, four. You can set up a timer on this. Two, three. Okay. Stopwatch. See if I can clean that sound up a little bit. Low frequency. Twenty six. Say he's about six knots, so we're going to see and go at a better angle. They about six knots, that's what I was hearing. Okay. Should be able to time him now. Getting rough. Alright. I have a pretty good flat side of the ship, so we'll see how fast these moving. Gotta rearrange him. Study. It's not. Seven. That's too fast. Let's go six. Okay. And on bow. Sixty-seven. Port. Ooh. I sound him right? Let's see. 
Uh, here it is. <laughs> Boom! Dead center. Well, so the thing is, I think if I shot at this ship at seven knots, I pro it probably would have gone right across the front. Because what I've noticed was, I've been shooting at some other ships where it gave me the seven knot read. My torpedoes went ahead of it. So, what's interesting is I was sounding it at about six knots, and then it showed me seven, took it down to six knots just from what I heard it, and bam, hit the ship, burning on fire, sinking. This ship's not neutral. Those trucks for... Alright, surface. One hit, one kill. Our first sinking of the war. And they were neutral. That's okay. We're pirates. Another sub. What I need to do, actually I should have stayed down and listened more, but I'm gonna move more into the area. Through area here, Captain, have him go to sleep for now. Oh crap! Dive, crash, dive, crash, dive. Here we go. Plane came to investigate. Coming from this way. An alarm now. Up and switch to the plane. Give me yet. You see me? Went around. Yeah, he's swinging him around. There I am. All right, I'm underwater. Keep going. That was close. Jeez. Oh, the aircraft. Hey, but we need to go down anyway, so we can listen. So what I'm gonna do is give this guy some coffee. There you go. He's all up. Listen further. Go ahead and stop the engines. Go ahead and hold the depth where we're. That aircraft will go away in a little bit. Find any more ships. Out there looking. Bears at sixty-seven. Sixty. Got plenty of batteries, so I might as well turn it on. Oh. I'd leave the area because we're kind of on alert here. Thing. I can go away yet. Out there.
Zu Befehl. Come on, aircraft, go away. Easy, he's still looking. Battery some, Ralph's going down. There's okay. We'll leave these two. It doesn't need. You know what? I need the listener. Captain doesn't need his group. There we go. Turn on the radio too. Captain. Scope depth. Auf Seerohrtiefe gehen. Up. Auf Zero Tiefe. Ooh. Yeah. Rouse going up now. Alright, the morale's good. Turn it off. Plane. I wish that plane would go away. Okay. Stop here. Our oxygen is starting to get low. Zero. Air. Surface. Finding any ships out here. Crew on board, let's get going. Got a transmission. Hopefully we can join a wolf pack somewhere and attack a big convoy. Maybe there's a big convoy sighted. Already halfway through my goal. I don't think they've penalized you for attacking neutral ships right now. Got. Gone missing. Oh, come on. Lost ship. Where's he gone missing? Way over there? Oh, man. Why does it have to be out of all places that location? Aircraft galore over here. Good, it's late at night, it's perfect. Done. Who's on? Captain.
He needs to go to sleep. Go to sleep. There it is. Wait. Usually I would send the mechanic over there to deal with this. Mechanic. On board. Really sink the sub. You really need to add a lot more different stuff, like derelict vessels and all kinds of cool stuff. Hope they add all that. It's going to be awesome. Fine, flooding batteries, okay. Okay, so he's mining the ship. Should be coming back here shortly. There he is. As soon as he gets back, blow this. There it goes. Alright, back to the patrol area, fast as we can go, let the engine guys sleep. Captain needs to rest too, hopefully we don't lose. Okay. There he goes. Legen Sie den Kurs an. Sehr wohl, Herr Kaloy. Let's dive the boat. Auf Seerohrtiefe gehen. They will find a nice big fleet to attack. Stop the engine.
Kabeln auf Dieselmotor. Video. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Okay, so I got this checkpoint now. We go up here. Side up here. Here. Coffee for this guy. To befear. Yawoy. Okay. Wechseln auf E-Motor. Find another ship out here. Ding. Go to Dexa Wash and see if that. Try something. All right, circus. Foggy day out today. Wechseln auf Dieselmotor. Watch the air. Here. Different spots. See if I can find. I'm on the radio. Actually, so I can go to sleep. Rested. Feels looking good. He's full up. Dive again. Chim over. Stormy weather, that's fine. Come on, nothing. Nothing? Sleep. Well, let's go down where... Here on the area, We're out here. Presser. Wechseln auf Dieselmotor. Heck happened. He surfaced. Surface. I don't know what happened. Maybe a time compression glitch or something. Finally. Wait. 
Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Ei, ei, Herr Kaloy. Bestätigt. Stay submerged. What were they doing? Roll of some kind. Moving very fast. Stay fast. On about six knots and they're far exceeding. Alright, let's just stop and listen. Roll. Oh, did our work our work correspondent didn't die, did he? On where are you at? Schiffsschrauben, Herr Kaloi. Legen Sie den Kurs an. Tanks anblasen. Sehr wohl, Herr Kaloi. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Ei, ei, Herr Kaloi. Wechseln auf Dieselmotor. Come on. Schneller, schneller. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. You're from it. Traveling about eight knots. Six knots. I'm measuring by traveling. Six knots. Schneller, schneller. Okay, we'll just plug that in. Auf Seerohr. Auf Seerohr, auf e the time compression stuff kind of messes you up. Fine. Ship. Kapitän. Might be a little close. It's going to do six knots for what we. Rohr 1 
Jetzt bewässern. Range. Rohr 1 bewässert. Like it was on a pretty good course, so. Oh. Didn't necessarily need a torpedo for this, but kind of practicing with my uh, the skills a little bit. Oh, they've already abandoned ship. Trolls. They are. Sorry, guys. Neglected interiors. Okay, well. Care about the dirtiness right now. Guy that was cleaning got killed or something. Hey, there's a guy cleaning. All right. He, I think I'm. I think I've met my goal. So. Operator to report in here. We got a transmission too. Okay, let's report that we sank that ship. Okay, maybe to help a wolf pack, which actually might get exciting. Find it. Sword. Out here. Are you kidding? Just to stop that. catch them out here I and mean, they're not going to a port somewhere Capitan. <laughs> Nothing I can do about that. Ignore that one. Did you get into me? Oh. 
Vorfahrt. Zu Befehl. See if I stop right here, dive, and see if we have ships. I think I've completed it already, but. Area is so dead. What? Surface the boat. Control area done. I got the tonnage. First patrol done, get in here. What's going on with the morale? Hey, too much work from officers. Good. One guy working. We're down 28%. Maybe if we find something on the way back, it might be active. all over the place. Back in. Very un really un control. I was hoping to actually have some good combat with some destroyers and stuff, but it's like I couldn't really find anything. A couple freighters used for torpedo practice. Pointed an aircraft. So, I mean. Nothing too eventful and stuff, but it's kind of good. It's kind of cool just getting kind of fleshed out. I just wonder if that core correspondent made it, which... Oh, I think he died. I got ejected overboard or something. If it does it, awfully close. It does park it. Wait. Let's talk. Put it here. Oh, I got the mechanic. Nice. Plus 40,000. Didn't get to that shit. Okay. So let's see. got three mechanics now, so 
engineer. Want is hydrophone or twenty. Buy some sailors. Six of eighteen sailors. A lot of crews I needed. soon. We got somebody researching at headquarters. Dude, see now I got money. I could get all kinds of stuff. Orbers. Ventilator. all our torpedoes here. Buy stuff. You always have a rebreather on everybody. Oh. 
secrets. Okay. Bye. Six days to refit. I only got a full complement of tor Dang, I'm down to like nothing. I'm gonna do anything else. Literally drained everything we had. Beim BDU wird viel über ihre letzte Patrouillenfahrt geredet. Gute Arbeit. Increases my crew. Okay. Have enough to. Thirteen day free discipline pen. Fight. Okay. Sixty six days of food. Nice. Out for a long time all right well anyway i just finished up things here in port and just now getting back into the streaming and doing these videos so anyway so far so good i haven't run into any really any major issues so you know, graphics look a heck of a lot better and the game looks like it's coming along pretty nice so uh, yeah i'll keep uh trying to put some videos out here and keep doing this i wish the patrol was a little more active but you know sometimes patrols have lots of activities sometimes nothing on um, so, anyway, until next time, uh, thanks for watching, if you like what you're seeing, like and subscribe, and I'll go ahead and, uh, more videos and content and stuff. We will have a good day, man.